just a reminder about the cool tip that we discovered about trading view and the volume profile uh, to get these uh, numbers you'd want to go to um, for, first of all you have to go to indicators and um, volume profile and then choose that one don't do the HD one do this one the session volume and then on the settings um, style yeah show values just have that ticked then you can see numbers so currently for Bitcoin um, the bears are beating the bulls so I'm gonna go long uh, Bitcoin when the bulls uh, beat the bears so when that number beats 3000 then that's gonna be my entry um, what I've noticed which is actually quite cool is that what will happen is that they'll freeze the bearish volume see how it's not moving 3000 K uh, 3k uh, so it's it's being subdued the, there's not really much uh, bearish volume but you might see an increase of uh, bullish volume okay so assuming that that freezes and doesn't really move then they're putting like a chokehold on price action so uh, see how it's not actually increasing or decreasing so it looks quite bullish currently they're actually um, we're not manipulating the price but they're they're just making sure that it's basing out and as uh, under said about the RSI as well on the daily see it's actually not moving and assuming that that 2.7 exceeds 3 then that's going to be a buy opportunity but this is actually quite bullish you see how that's not actually moving the uh, bearish volume so um, they could be waiting for some orders maybe and so uh, this happened on the euro yen and uh, I was gonna make a video about it yesterday what happened on the euro yen they they froze the bearish volume and uh, then it bounced and it rallied like those 35 pips that we got stopped out on yesterday so it's quite a cool tip if you see this and, and they've like they're frozen the bearish volume is actually quite bullish but what you'd want to do is get that number here to be uh, greater than this one and once they've once the balls have one then that sets the precedence for this session and so uh, hopefully that helps uh, just something I've been looking at it worked very well for the euro yen yesterday and I noticed it was a bit bit, um, a bit strange what was going on but that's that's the theory anyway so they're actually increasing their bearish bets so you don't want that number to come up if you're bullish so hopefully it helps um, so I'm just gonna be watching this I want to get a good entry I definitely don't want to enter and then it to go negative. See, there we go. That I think it's uh, the bear, the bears are winning. So I use the baseline. You don't have to. I have it um, the baseline at the, the point of control, so I know that we're bearish below the park. So it's an idea, and uh, you can do hiking as you candles too. And there's another thing. I'm not really gonna perhaps buy it right now when you know we've got a sequence of bearish candles it would be a better strategy to wait for the candle to go green especially if uh, you know the bears are really winning out and they are as a so um, hopefully it helps hopefully I haven't waffled too long uh, so yeah that, that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the high connection candle to go green and I'm gonna wait for that number to exceed uh, the bearish volume. So this is the bulls and this is the bears. So I want that number to be greater. So I'm going to stop uh, waffling now. Hope you have a good day. Let's try and get some good um, profits on this one and it, hopefully it'll be a good entry for everyone. So I'll speak to you soon.